All right, we got. Are we, uh, Eco what are we doing here? Are we signing off or are we continuing? We'll, we'll hey, do. We'll Mark. do one last hand and then, then we'll sign okay. off. I, I gotta hop. Take care, guys. Hey, I'd like Thank to. You. I'd like to take a uh, paint a picture. Peace, Anna. Uh, there was there was once a uh, Bitcoin maxi, and he really wanted Bitcoin to survive. But he saw there being a little bit of a problem with uh, people trying to grow their Bitcoin, so grow the value in their account. So maybe they go over to an exchange, and this about hex. This is where people would trade back and forth in order to increase uh, their Bitcoins. But who really wins? Like sometimes the loser is the winner, but the exchange is often the um, the winner. So. How is it that you can grow your Bitcoin without uh, putting it into the exchange or trading on the exchange? Maybe you trust it with a third person, a third party, who how, says how, that they're going to do, do something grow, with it. How do, you, but, how do you grow your hex without sucking uh, Richard Hodd's dick? <laughs> All right. So, so Bitcoin That's is... inappropriate. Bitcoin is Knock deflationary. So Bitcoin... <laughs> Bitcoin is deflationary, or more accurately said, it's disinflationary. And what that means is you don't have to grow your Bitcoin. Your Bitcoin becomes more valuable over time. So this entire concept of trying to get a yield, that just comes from the broken fiat system. And it's a little hard for us who have been so indoctrinated into that system to shake that belief. But once you understand the power of deflation, you really see that there is no need to try to grow your Bitcoin, other than simply just working for it. Yep. 